What's up, everyone? All right, so let me lower it to this mellow music. Um, kind of last minute trip. It is a Wednesday today, and a good friend of mine, Todd Johnson, who someone that I've known for many years, but we haven't had the chance to fish together in a while. Uh, sent me a text and, and uh, made me more aware of something that I was already somewhat aware of, and that is that. Um, the conditions out in the Gulf of Mexico are ideal. So I was actually planning on going fishing Friday and Saturday in shore, probably maybe up shore with a couple other people, but change of plans. It's flat today and it's flat tomorrow. So uh, I'm stoked to fish with uh, Todd. It's been, it's been a while and I am more freaking excited for the fact that we're going to a couple things. One is no wind, uh, no surf, basically flat conditions as flat as it can get uh, we are what I like to do, what I consider the peak of the predator or pelagic season in the Texas coast uh, because the mullet run is about to start snapper are in kingfish are in cobia are in and then the the reports of tarpon rolling uh, kind of across the Texas coast uh, are coming in so uh, not that I expect to hook a tarpon but just the idea of it we don't get a lot of chance here in texas small window as i move uh, from florida to the yucatan peninsula so anyway i'm super stoked i'm gonna bring you guys on board uh we're gonna be cock fishing i have i'm taking the spear gun just in case uh the downside is i'll be the only guy spear fishing and that's a big no-no you definitely never want to kind of um dive on by yourself um and for many reasons, one is just diving, free diving uh, on its own, but then also kind of the spirit fishing and having a, a fish next to you and in, in, in higher than normal sharky conditions because when there's the mullet run starting, then every everything just kind of gets lit up. Uh, but we're taking the fly rod. We're gonna try to get some sick uh, video of uh, kingfish uh, leaping out of the water, uh, basically using big plugs. Uh, I don't know, five to seven inch uh, top water plugs to see this kingfish jump out of the water. We're gonna be fishing out of the kayak. Uh, there might be a couple other people that might join us. I have about a three hour drive from Austin to uh, Corpus Christi. Uh, meet up at Todd's, uh, Todd's house, prep a few things, probably just uh, set really high, ex high, high expectations for tomorrow and go from there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Here we go, let's see if we can get some aerial shows here. Like you, 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 what you're expecting it, but when it happens, still scare the shit out of you, dude. Woo! Oh man! Huh? No, I got off. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, really? You got one, Chris? Yeah. I got one. You want one?
<laughs> and this one is on. Oh, no, I got off. No, it's still on. Oh, I got off. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, dude. Man, they're big. And did you get it at 120? No. Oh, okay, cool, cool. That's awesome. That's it. Dude, this fucking fish, man. Props. There's another one jumping out of the water on its own. Four, three, two, one. Not the best shot there. Right in the sun. I'll change. <laughs> now this one is on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down, buddy. Settle down. <laughs> yep. Ooh, look at those guys. Isn't it beautiful here? Come on, everybody. Yeah. They can check out the action. Ah, oh, look at that. Uh, plug, top water. Finally, we got four or five hookups. They all got away. This one it didn't look like a big fish when he was out of the water. There's coming up. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> there it is. Alright. Let's go land it. Can you back up a bit? What was that? Nope. Nope. Oh, here we go. Woo! Love water, buddy. All right, now you're turning. I'll shoot you, dude. Ready? ready? All right, buddy. See you later. Dolphin's gonna get it. <laughs> oh, I might not make it. We got Chris hooked up over there. What do you got, son? Redfish. Nice. Could be a flounder. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's perfect. Blue water. You know what ACK stands for, right? What? Always K. 
<laughs> oh, dude. Oh, I, I bet I wasn't, he wasn't on. Oh, he was on. Great. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was a big fish. Big bait, big, big fish. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's on! Oh man, nice. Dude, this bait. Alright, I'm a believer, Todd. Holy shit. It's a little guy. There's a little guy, but yeah. <laughs> Yippee! I'm gonna keep this guy. That's a nice Spanish. Alright. Are you gonna take your Yeah, I was gonna say, are you gonna take your pants off? Oh. <laughs> Sweet. Keeping this guy. <laughs> he's here while he's not. So of course we were wrapping it up. We do one more cast deal and we have Chris over there. Don't know if you guys can see it. He's hooked on a kingfish, I suppose. So we're gonna go see what's up. What you got there, son? Un rey del mar. La Macarena. What are you getting on? Uh, pink in the brain. <laughs> Everything is fine until it's not. You get the pinky. Hold on. That kayak. <laughs> Noise. Was that one right behind it? No way. All right, toss it, toss it. <laughs> Chainsaw on your lap. Hey, what's up guys? So, we got what we came for. We caught plenty of kingfish on surface lures, uh, stick baits and top waters, and we have pretty cool, sick footage of a couple kingfish going airborne. Um, decided to keep one Spanish mackerel, so we're gonna be eating good today. It's one of the biggest kingfish, uh, sorry, Spanish mackerel I've caught. We have a quiz over there, Todd skull there. We have uh, Roberto Guzman, he's uh, ended up joining us. We're gonna meet up at the spot. So it's really been uh, an amazing day, just really nice conditions, not as flat as I thought it'd be. Uh, we didn't bring any bait, so we've been trolling on lures. It's been a little odd because um, I lost every single king on the Hulko, on, you know, basically just the deep diver. And that almost never happened. It's almost, you know, one-on-one. I, I hooked one and I landed and I just lost maybe five, six fish. But 
Uh, we had fun, had one take at a cobia. It was a little one, but it was always always fun to see uh, kind of a cobia close to the boat and get the chance to throw something at them. They get excited and they just kind of basically flick you off and go away. Uh, but it's been a perfect day, really nothing. Uh, we're, we're not missing anything, so um, we're gonna start heading back and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit.